Hey everybody, it's Chef Lisa Veg, and I know I look um, kind of a, a little bit ratchet, and um, the reason for that is because I was out dancing in Austin till after two in the morning, and I went to three different dance clubs and didn't have any alcohol, um, but just uh, lived it up. And what is so great about Austin is you can do club dancing, you can do country dancing, you can do swing dancing, um, and so I had a great time. And the segment today is about breakfast. And a lot of people, when they get up in the morning, they wanna have a, go to McDeath and get a cancer sandwich for breakfast, and that's not the best idea. And then they get like a big coffee and fill it with cow's milk. Well, what I am doing, I'm at a beautiful Airbnb on South Congress, which is the hip part of Austin, and um, I made myself some some uh, coffee. And I usually don't drink coffee, but today I felt like I needed <laughs> I needed some coffee. And instead of putting like a traditional coffee creamer in it, I got some soy creamer from Trader Joe's. And so um, I've got my cup of coffee. I'm gonna take a sip so I can be awake and entertaining for you for this mukbang today. Mm. And you know, using soy creamer or coconut creamer or almond milk creamer is a great option for you to put in your coffee, your tea, your hot chocolate, whatever. Now, I'm not an ordinary chef, and I just don't like things to be ordinary. Um, I do love having oatmeal in the morning, and I probably will have oatmeal the rest of the days that I'm here, but for today, um, yesterday I went to Capital City Bakery and um, Capital City Bakery is an all vegan bakery here in Austin and they are famous for their kolaches. Now at first when I heard the word kolache I was like what the hell is that? That sounds really weird. But a uh, kolache is basically a filling um, enrobed in a dough and so I ended up getting one of each of their kolaches. And now it doesn't look like much, right? It, it doesn't look like much, but wait till we open it up, okay? We're gonna open it up. And this is the kind of food that you have after you've been out all night and you're feeling all right. I guess, I don't know. I'm just being really stupid right now. I, it's fun to be stupid sometimes. So the first kolache I'm gonna have is what they call and I'll just show it to you. I mean, it just looks like a dough ball um, from the outside. This is their buffalo chicken and vegan cheese kolache. And so when I say chicken, I'm not talking about the actual flesh from a chicken. I'm talking about like, a, like an analog chicken, usually made from pea protein or from vital wheat gluten. And so I'm going to cut it in the middle and I've heated these up in the oven here at the Airbnb, or you could do it in the toaster oven and now you can see on the inside. And so it looks, it looks pretty nice on the inside, right? And so uh, this is my mouth and this is gonna go in my mouth. And I don't know what it is. Being in Austin makes me talk kind of Texas-y or maybe it's not Texas-y. Maybe it's more like, um, like a foghorn leghorn, you know, that rooster on the, on the Looney Tune commercials. But I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This be good. This is good. This is delicious. I'm loving the flavor. And then um, it has a nice soft texture, but then there's a little bit of a, um, you feel like a meaty texture with the analog vegan chicken in there. And this is definitely a seitan based uh, vegan chicken. And then it has like, if we open it up really, like um, open it up, you can see inside there is like a buffalo sauce. And usually the buffalo sauce is put on chicken wings. But instead of using chicken, you can put it on cauliflower. That's fine. And so let me take another bite just to make sure it's okay, right? Mmm. Really nice. Really delicious. Um, this flavor is this flavor is really great. But there is another kolache on my plate. Yes, everybody, kolache number two, or numero dos. And this kolache 
is going to be their vegan sausage with vegan cheese. Now, as we all know, sausage usually comes from a pig, right? And sausage is mixed with all kinds of spices, and it's usually the parts of the pig that are the least desirable, like um, a lot of times like the pig's balls and their nose and all kinds of weird stuff go in there. But if you add enough spices, you can usually make it taste good. Well, this sausage is going to be made with wheat, wheat gluten, and let's see what it looks like on the inside without balls, right? <laughs> okay, and so, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, so that is really um, a nice, beautiful inside of this kolache with the vegan sausage and the vegan cheese. So, are you ready? Are you ready, everybody, for me to stick this in my mouth? Because it is going in there. I'm telling you, it's going in. And so here we go. Ready? Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. And you know what I forgot to mention? It's also jalapenos, so it's vegan sausage, jalapenos, and vegan cheese. So this is fabulous. Um, if you had your choice between the, the buffalo chicken or the vegan sausage jalapeno cheese, I would recommend this one because my mouth is still tingling from the jalapenos and I get that really incredible spiciness from the, you know, from the vegan sausage and the homemade um, dough they put around the outside is delicious and it's not like a phyllo it's not like a pastry dough it's um more like a delicate kind of a bread dough um absolutely wonderful and i was just so excited when i went to capital bakery that um in addition to trying the kolaches i also wanted to try some of their sweeter items and but i have to save that for part two so this is capital city bakery in austin part one and then my next video will be the sweet side of austin with capital city bakery part two so thank you for watching me eat you know i eat every day and so why not why not film myself eating <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm excited that you're here and I hopefully won't look as ratchet in the morning as I, I do today, but I may, um, I may go out uh, dancing again tonight. I don't know. I feel that at any age you should live life to the fullest and have fun and um, don't, feel, don't feel inhibited. And um, it's also really great exercise and here in Austin where it's so hot and sticky hot it's like you're uh, doing exercise in a sauna <laughs> and uh, but uh, I'm I'm really happy to be able to be here and to taste some wonderful delicious food so thank you all for tuning in I'm gonna finish um, the my kolache and finish my uh, coffee with some soy creamer and get ready to do more vegetastic eating in Austin. Yee-haw!